Hi guys, welcome to another CJ Core update video. Today I've got the 0.0.1.7 update. There has been a couple of updates since the last video. The reason for this is because it's more bug fixes, more different features, which I'm going to show you today. So one of the big features that you will see is that Industrial Craft 2 has support with the API. So you can see that this MFSU is charging up through the solar panel, which reduces free RF. So I'll just show you, it only holds free RF, it's not much. Um, and I can show you uh, that it's charging up the correct conversion rate. So let's say we have this, I'm just going to mix some charcoal. And I put this charcoal in here, you can see that that is going to generate power. Put it into C, uh, CFU, or MFSU, I mean. And I'll show you that it works, because you can see here. Now obviously we can go to mod options and we can have a look at uh, the capacity. But you can also now simplify the energy displayed to look nicer. So it's a lot shorter, as you can see. Shortened down, so this will 32. Kilo RF, 60 kilo RF, and also you can see this one can hold 66.7 uh, million RF. So pretty decent. This holds 1 million RF. That shows you that. Um, so that's one of the new features. If you head back over to here, I'm going to get rid of this. We can now change it to uh, energy unit. Now one thing. Uh, you will see is that these are actually more accurate before they didn't show all the details it actually removes the last digit and rounded it down that was due to a conversion error I made but this is now fixed and as you can see this is about 18,000 and that is 18,000 that is correct and you can see that it does work because the TE command is now compatible with these so I'm going to take 1,000 uh, we'll just uh, take 10 EU for energy unit. Uh, that's going to generate it back, isn't it? Uh, that holds 4,000. So let's generate a Let's take a thousand EU. You see, it took a thousand, and it's now generating it. And that's pretty sweet. It works with giving it. So this one, I should be able to give energy. Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, give a thousand energy unit. Uh, 28,000, 29,000, so yeah, you can see it does work, obviously I can fill it up a bit, that does hold a hell of a lot of EU, I didn't realise it held that much, okay, that's 40 million EU it holds, that is a lot, um, so you can see that that obviously works, it also works with the items, so we've got the mining laser, which if we fill this up in here, uh, you can see this getting charged, uh, quite fast seeing as I've filled this up now with my command and just to show you that we select this we can now see the EU I'm going to just revert it back to uh, redstone flux because that's the one I'd like it on and you might have noticed on the last one there was a little bit of the bug with the uh, stuff there with tunes in the NG unit that is now fixed so as, as you can see this should yeah there you go it deleted it and it uses power and we also have the mining or the diamond drill which you can use that can simply be charged up like so that only holds 30k EU uh, that's not producing that much that isn't but that that should be enough to show that that diamond drill also shows its power which is really cool so that's one of the main things one of the new things you'll see is a configuration thing and it's called the update checkers and here you can see and disable any of your mods update checker that uses our mod, the, the API's update checker so what we can do here is disable the CJ core update checker and it will disable it I will assure you I'm going to show you how to set this up because some things have changed I'm going to leave that to true that's basically you can disable checking for updates now which is great which is also really useful if you've fed up of seeing loads of things and one thing I will show you is a change in the way that the updates are shown so let's head out of here this is the bit of everything mod you will see that one of the new things you need to do is you need to actually say 
that you're using my mod and you have to have it with it. So in MC Mod Info, you need to add these three lines here, making sure to put a comma on here, saying we want to use these dependencies using these options that we've give, provided here. You need to say we require mods, uh, we require CJ Core, and we depend on CJ Core. And is it required mods? Now, for this to actually read it, we need to make sure we have use metadata to true in the at mod uh, into, uh, in the at mod annotation in your main class. And what we also need to do is we need to say that we're using a version checker. So what we can do is using the custom properties on the mod. All we need to do, custom properties is just a um, a array of properties which you're going to have. So we, all you need to do is custom properties equals a curly bracket, say the property, and the property, the key for the property is use version checker. And if you have to have this anyway, uh, you have to say whether you're using a version checker. If it's true, then it will know it's using a version checker, so it can handle adding that to the config. Uh, if you do use a version checker, which we do do, we want to make sure that this is on true so it knows and if we head over to the player event uh, handler this is when we log in you now need to add the mod ID before the version so that um, the update checker knows what mod is calling this so it knows whether it should actually call it in the first place um, and I'll just show you that here because what we have is we check the update checker mod if it contains this mod ID then if it doesn't contain it or it doesn't have it then it's gonna obviously not allow it to check for updates so if I have a look at the config here if we go to the run package and then uh, go to the config you'll see CJ core and in here you'll see that BOE now has its own config and this is automatically generated with CJ Core. Uh, I've got mine disabled at the moment, and as you can see, when you boot up the game, you'll see that it says found dependent, and this is how you know that your mod is working uh, with the API. It will say it's found the dependent, and it will s if it says, says it has an active update checker, then that's brilliant, it's supposed to say that. Um, if you don't see this line at all, that means that um, something's gone wrong and the game will actually crash. It's not like an error crash, it's a forced crash because it wants to know whether you're using an update, a version checker, which you need to tell it. So the game has loaded up, we can go back into here on CJ Core, on the config, on the update checkers. I'm going to enable my BOE update checker and we're going to put in the test world and we should see a message in chat now about the update and you'll see more detail than you had before so as you can see there's an update for bit of everything available current version newest version click to download uh, if you have a download link it will say that um, I think I think that might be a bug um, I'll have to fix that actually um, it's supposed to say if you haven't got one. And here, if you look, when you hover over it, we see the change lock. So the cool thing about this is you don't have the text just appearing now. You can just hover over it and it'll say each of the change log listed. Um, it says uh, if it's an addition, so you put an add at the start, it'll be in green. If you remove something, it'll be in red and that's with a minus at the start. And if you fix something, it'll be an aqua. And that's just so it looks pretty. And if you don't put any of them, it'll just be white, which is a default color. Um, and what it's supposed to do, which it doesn't quite do at the moment, which I'm not sure why, is if you don't actually provide a download link, it will still print out everything, but you remove the click to download button, as you would expect. So since the last little clip, I have actually updated CJ Core. It's gone through another update. This was a couple of bug fixes and also a lot of features. So one of the coolest features I've added is now the ability 
to change the size of the energy bar so you can change the width and the height so I'm going to change it to say 10 by 40 because maybe I like this size and you can see that it has in fact shrunk to 10 by 40 pixels which is nice and that will be applied to all of the any uh, energy bar that uh, from the multimeter obviously you can now customize this in code which is brilliant because that's something that I've wanted to implement for a long time and finally I've got it done one of the other cool things is now the multimeter has a tooltip saying what it does it says that it allows users to see energy inside of any block without actually opening their G1 and what it does mention is that you can now bind this to a box so I hold this multimeter and say I want to track how much energy is inside of this new power cell I have uh, that's uh, 5000 RF tick uh, put it on in you can see that it's now gaining power and I want to see how much power is in this so if I sneak right click it says targeting block power cell and the position and also if I open it up here it says what block it's targeting and as you can see no matter what I look at it shows me the energy inside of this block here no matter what so obviously you can rebind this so controller controller this one's full you can show that this one this this does display as invalid it is valid that's just the item name that's just the way it works that's what happened to industrial tech stuff now we'll always be able to see how much energy is inside this no matter where we go as long as it stays loaded which is super awesome so obviously you just right click normally and it will unbind like you would expect and that works brilliantly that's quite useful so obviously you can have multiple multimeters but I'm these won't work together so obviously you can still bind this normally so say we're going to target this one with this one I target this one this one the problem is you won't be able to tell this one's a laser and that's the power cell it was just uses whichever one it finds first so if I switch this order around you see that it's now showing the laser but if I was to move this one around the one it'll show that one so that's how it works now in the next update I'm hopefully going to be adding some more languages uh, to CJ Core. Currently it's only EN US, so it's only American. But this will be updated to be the other uh, languages as well. Um, if you want to apply to help me translate that will be brilliant. There will be a Google form in the description which you can use for that. Which is great. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching, like, comment and subscribe. I am out.